Hello Canva lovers! This video is about erasing in Canva. How are the different ways that you can erase either a whole image or a part of an image or part of an element in Canva? So let's get started. <clears throat> there are about five ways that you can erase in Canva. The first one is the easiest and my favorite because it's so intuitive and so smart, the tool that um, you can erase a little bit, a little part of an image in Canva and the rest will be automatically, the rest part, uh, the rest of your image will be automatically adjusted to match the background. So let's say you have this image and I want to erase only a tiny little bit, this crumb I want to get rid of. So what I will do is I will use the magic eraser button. Now this tool, this magic, uh, magic eraser feature is available only in Canva Pro. So if you don't have Canva Pro and you want to try this out, just sign up for a 30 day trial and see how amazing this tool is. There is a link below in my description where you can also click on to try on the magic eraser. So what the magic eraser essentially does is that I'm going to click on it now is if I just erase this part, so the background now will not be white, but it will be magically filled in, that's hence the name magic eraser, with the surrounding bits of the background. So let's say I click on here, and of course you can choose your brush size, smaller or bigger, if you want to erase a big part, then you just choose a big brush size. I'm gonna do this one because that's enough for now. And I just want to erase this part. And give it a second, give it a second. It does take a bit of time to, to do this. So if you have to do multiple parts, you better make sure you have a very fast internet connection. And there you go. You see, that pink part has gone, the pink crumb over there, and it has been filled in with the background. So that's how you can use the magic eraser to erase part of an image in Canva. But that is not the only way as we will soon see. So let me get this back. Okay, now you can erase the whole background or part of the background as well. So now we go to edit photo and we go to background remover. Again, this is a Canva Pro feature. So if you don't have Canva Pro, try this feature out with a 30 day trial. Link in description. Now it has erased the whole background. That is so cool, right? So it is so, so easy to, remain, uh, to remove the background instead of, you know, trying to do it with Photoshop or other complicated tools. But what happens if you think that, okay, I want this part of the image back. So you just click on restore and I'm gonna take a big image size and I can do that and it can get that part of the image back. However, we don't need it because that is the one single color background image. So I'm just gonna keep it, go make it gone. Now, what if you want to erase further? So, okay, it has erased the background but you still want to erase all these bits and pieces. So that's how you do it. So you take the brush and you take additional parts you just uh, sometimes have to do it very slowly otherwise it's not very smooth and there you go that's how you can also erase an image or part of an image in canva and if you're not happy with that and you want to get your original image back you just click on reset okay so that was the second way to erase image or part of an image with the background remover tool. Again, it is a Canva Pro feature, so keep that in mind. Now, a third way is, well, very simple. You can just, if you want to erase parts of a tool, parts of an image that you don't want, you simply crop it. You just go there. And you crop the image to only the section that you want. This is also erasing part of the image. So here, here, you can erase a lot of your image, but you're not 
doing it with the AI tool. You're just doing it with a simple crop tool. The crop tool is available in Canva Pro. So that's good. Now, what if you want to erase parts of an element? So here you go. So this is an element that I have like an, a graphic that I have added and you can do it in the same way. You just go to edit photo, magic eraser or background remover and you erase that part out. If you want to erase a vector image, so let's see, maybe I have something here. Yeah, you can't really erase, for example, if you want this green part gone, you can't really do that. What you can do is you can make it white so you don't, if you put it here, you don't really see that anymore. So if you want to erase a graphic element as well, if it is a, a vector element, then you can change the colors of it or you can crop it, of course. Here's a crop. And if you have a graphic element, which is a photo, then you just do edit photo, background remover, or magic eraser and the similar way as you do an image. And the last way that you, the last way to erase in Canva, and I'm going to add um, an image here just to show you, is to erase part of a drawing. So Canva lets you create shapes and, and freehand drawing. That is the pen, this is the sharp pen, that is the highlight. And you can simply erase all that with the eraser tool. So this is the eraser and you can choose to erase this or this or this. Keep in mind that you cannot erase only a part of your drawing. So, well, you can, but if you have like this is one, I have not released the mouse, so this is still my one drawing and this whole thing is also my one drawing so when you hold the eraser to it it will remove the whole drawing that you did by clicking on the mouse so this my whole thing is one drawing which i did without taking off my pen so it will erase the whole thing so that's how you erase a drawing in canva so those were the five ways you have the magic eraser the background remover you can use the crop tool, you can erase parts of a graphic element, and you can also erase parts of a drawing in Canva. That was a complete tutorial on erasing in Canva. Hope this helps you and let me know if you have any comments or questions. If you like my videos, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you and bye.